Hey, what's up, guys? Here's my t what year is this thing? Uh, 1999, I think, or I think it's a 2000 BMW. I'll say 2000. And the dog won't shut up. Uh, I got it. It's sitting on a hill. Thing, so that's why. They, Tires up there. It's run 18s on this car. Got my new thing. That's my Instagram on there. So please check that out and then like, follow me on there. I got the 528i version. I gotta get a new bump because I had to push the car uh, down the road and then I had to be towed all the way back from. Birmingham, which, um, if y'all know where I live, uh, or know where that is, it's an uh, hour uh, from where I live, but yeah, um, I got all my junk in here, so it's not really clean, though, but um, the seats are in perfect shape, I just have my stuff in here temporarily, But yeah, um, I gotta get a new head for it. Because the one that's on it was warped. And I gotta get this sticker painted right here. It was supposed to say your girlfriend, uh, but it says yo now. So basically now, now it says yo girlfriend rated E for everyone. And I have that one right there. So I'm probably gonna take, order a new sticker. Because that one got messed up. Uh, I gotta put floor mats because it didn't have any. The feature about this car I like is the door vents. Those work a whole lot better than the ones you have right here. A little bit because it blows straight on or off the side. Um, this car had about 217,000 miles on it. Still has the original stuff. Pixar going out. Still has the original stuff. I want to change it out but I don't feel like it. As long as the radio still works where I can use it, that's all that matters. Uh -oh. Power seats and all that good stuff on both sides. So that works. I got the battery disconnected because I had to pull, pull a bunch of stuff off. Sunroof and stuff works. So, some of the two out of the, uh, four windows still roll down on most of them. But the dirt window regulators went out, you know. And this thing is going to be a pain in the rear end today, but let's see if I can lay it down and get, get it to reopen. Yeah, the foot, the cable broke. There it went. Yeah. So that's what's left to the engine. I got to clean everything back out of this thing. And that's not looking too good over there. I had it covered up, but somehow it got loose, so I got to clean that back up. Most people would say, why don't you just go get a new engine? Not with this motor. This motor's like three or $5,000 order, at least. And I still got to put, I got to pull the radiator out and replace that thing. Um, thermostat failed in the thing more than likely and caused it to overheat. Then the guy who had it, um, just ran it uh, hot a bunch of times and caused it to, what you call it, blow the head. Thankfully, it didn't lock the uh, motor 